Hey, what's up you guys? So today my county in Pennsylvania moved from yellow to green. It is Friday, May 29th. So I'm going to do a little post-apocalyptic shopping. I know, I, I'm trying to make a joke with it, but in all seriousness, like the pandemic has changed so many people's lives, so I don't want to joke about it too much. But TJ Maxx is open and Ross is open. They're supposed to be good deals. So I will be showing you guys the haul for the sake of trying to keep my phone from getting like dirty or anything. I'm going to not film in the stores um yeah so i'll show you guys what i got and how good the deals actually are hey what's up you guys um i'm back with my haul from tj maxx and ross so our ross was like really picked over um probably because it opened like slightly before the we went into the green because they could they just had to put in like all of the proper precautions and everything and then tj maxx i did get some stuff but like stuff really wasn't marked down that much and our tj maxx is so like backed up on things that they legit like they had no they had like hardly any summer clothes out because they just have all this winter stuff and like all of their signs had like big huge sale like up to 75% off the only thing in the store that I could find that 75% off was like Easter decorations which like Easter was how long ago so like it makes sense but regardless I'm going to show you guys what I got um so I guess I'll start out with this from the Ro from the Ross if you know you know um little joke with some people I know I got this tank top from my mom she asked me to look for some tank tops for her this is the only one I found that was in her size and it was pretty cute it was only $5.99 so that was a pretty good deal um that was the only thing I got from Ross that was really marked down and then I got these two toys for our dogs because I knew Puppy Pepper like chews things apart so easily so I got her this little bone toy and then this is like we get toys from BarkBox so this is like what is inside the bark box toys, like this rubbery material. Um, and most of the toys are already apart and yeah, so these were um two ninety nine each, so I got them. And then when I was at Ross, they only had one pack of these. Which I don't know why, because they weren't marked down. They're still twelve ninety nine, but it's twelve ninety nine for a twelve pack of canvases, which is like a really good deal, so I decided to get them and then now going to what I got at TJ Maxx like I said the deals really weren't that good um I did get this new TJ Maxx bag which was 99 cents they're always 99 cents and I got this one too they're just good to have for if you need them for stuff um the first thing I got was this blanket it was marked down to $12 um Usually these blankets are only like $15, so it's like a $3 markdown. But I want to try embroidering on a blanket, so I got it regardless. And then I got these two cute little goals books. They were $4.99. Um, I'm probably going to keep one for myself and give one to one of my friends. I just thought they were really cute. It says her goals journal, and it says she's making it happen with a little heart on it. And then the last thing I got was this really cute pair of sandals in size nine and a half. And these were marked down, um, I think, like four dollars. Peeled the tag back so I could see in the store how much they were marked down. Oh, they were marked down five dollars. Um, but it says like the compared at price is forty eight dollars. Um, they were made in Italy. They're by the brand Mila Paoli. Paoli. I'm going to guess is how you say that. Um, my Italian professor is quaking in right now at that pronunciation. I am sorry, Professor Spina. Um, but yeah, I got these really cute sandals, and that was everything I got. Um. I think that maybe I'll go back like in a week or so just to see if they have like more summer stuff out after people are like done flocking there because they 
like just opened back up as i said in my intro we just went into the green literally today for our county so we'll see what's up um i'm gonna be doing a video about like wegmans foods for like keto and stuff soon so you'll also be seeing that coming out um but yeah there really just wasn't a huge selection of stuff that was on sale and everything that was on sale at tj maxx was like a couple bucks off like i don't know i didn't think it was very good deals compared to like the videos that i'm seeing like in other states where people are like oh my gosh i bought this for two dollars i just i didn't think it was very good deals and like i said our ross was really picked over if it wasn't as picked over i probably would have got more stuff but i just didn't because it was so picked over but that's it um if i decide to go back to tj maxx i'll probably like do another video like i said i didn't do any filming in the store because i didn't want to like take my phone out while i was in there um i'm trying to be as safe as possible with going out just you know take precautions because everything still is very crazy even though we have a lot less cases where i'm at now um we really didn't have like a ton of cases compared to like cities and stuff because where i live in pennsylvania is a very like rural and suburban area even like the bigger parts of where i live where there's more people it's still like very suburban it's not city like but hey guys so it's a few days later um and i went to another tj maxx that's in our area and i got some other stuff that was on sale the deals were about the same like i said they weren't the best but i did get some stuff nonetheless the best deal that i got was um this big tote was only 10 bucks which i thought was a good deal um i am going to need stuff for like whenever i do eventually get a little in my sorority and for now i can just use it as storage for myself but I would probably like give this to her and like put a bunch of her stuff in it. We don't do baskets in my sorority, we do like a big reveal. So that's probably like one of the things. My big gave me like two baskets, one's like bigger and one's smaller. We put all my stuff in whenever she gave it to me. So then in here, this we paid full price for. It's another dog toy. Um, One of the dog toys is already chewed up that I got from Ross. So there's that. I got these pens, they were full price too, but they were only $2.99, and they're cute, they say like cute little sayings on them, so I don't know if you can read them, but it says, it's a three cup kind of day, coffee please, just waiting for a coffee break, I got two that are like that, and then I got one, um, it says, just writing something brilliant, ideas for days, and cute pens help me crush it, so. I got some of those um and then these I'm probably going to keep one for myself and give some one to someone else but they were only 450 they're marked down there's 365 quotes to um inspire you all year long so it's like the little notepad and there's a quote at the bottom um someone got me one of these whenever I went off to college so I had that one for um my freshman year and then part of my sophomore year and then inside this basket I got some clothes so this was the most expensive item for clothing it was eight dollars and this is for my mom um it's this cute like kind of like pink snake print top with the little buttons and we like did major closet clean outs as you know and I wanted to get some new summer stuff and then I got four tops for myself this will probably be more of like a going out top um or like a beach top it was only 450 i believe this one's from airy yeah this one's from airy so it was only 450 and stuff from airy is usually pretty expensive and then i got this one it's just a nice little crop top this one is from bozolo and it was also 450 and then i got this i just got rid of my like um knit top that I had, my crocheted top that I like to wear with my suspenders, so not suspenders, um, 
shorter alls. And this one was also 450, and this one was also from Aerie. It's my size large. And then my family's making noise. I'm sorry if you can hear that in the background. This is the last top I got, which was like really cute. It's a halter top, so it's striped, and it's in the back. And this one is from American Eagle. I just thought it was really cute, and it was also 450, I believe. Yeah, 450. So most of the stuff was only like two, three dollars off, but they did have a better selection at this TJ Maxx, so I wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, but yeah, so I will go to my outro that I filmed with the other stuff that I did. That is it for this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Um, I want to do more like videos where I show like good deals and stuff. This video just like kind of let me down. I was like so excited to go today, which it was really nice to get out and hang out with my friend Sarah. Don't get me wrong, but it just the deals were not it. I wish our Ross like wasn't so picked over because like there were actually like some really good deals there, but it was just so picked over like there's just hardly anything left, which we did go later in the day. We got there around like. 5, 10 so it makes sense that like they didn't have a ton of stuff out because like people have been going all day probably since like we just went into green and people were going out and doing stuff when we went to TJ Maxx we did have to like wait in line outside before we could go in but that was nothing compared to the line to check out because they're only using every other register right now and in between each person they're like wiping everything down which is like really good that they're doing that it's just it made the checkout process like a lot longer I think we probably stood in line to check out for like 25 minutes um yeah but that's pretty much it um <laughs> I'm sorry that this video wasn't like more exciting and I didn't like get more stuff but that was what we got um I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you want to see more videos not so much like this because usually I have pretty good luck with things Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell if you want to get notifications. Go and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see even more of my crazy adventures. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!